Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is GoPrankBone123YZ here, and I am back again with a another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing y'all two how tos in one video. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to label locations, like to give, like to show your location has a name on a map, and how to use the real-time clock device. Now before we hop into it, y'all all know the drill by now, please make sure that y'all like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss another video just like this one and because it really does help me out. And make sure, please make sure that y'all use my su Fortnite supporter creator code, go prank play, if you plan on buying anything from the item shop or if you are planning on getting the new battle pass. Now let's go ahead and hop right on into it. So as you can see here, whenever I open up my map, I can see that there is a label on the map and it shows the name of the location so I'm going to be showing you all how to do that so let's go ahead and hop into that right now alright guys so the only thing that you are going to need for this tutorial is the map indicator devices next to the tracker and the player reference devices. That is all that you're going to need for this tutorial. Now what you want to do is you want to go underneath your location. So here's my location right here, Santa's Workshop. Now as you see here, I have a marker right here. Now what you want to do is with the marker, you want to try to line it up as best as you can. If you want to see how to line it up, did not mean to place that one. It will show you like the name tag. If you've already typed in your name, it can show you like where to line it up at. If you look up top, why am I? Why? Why is it like that? Okay. So, nope. Why? 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 Whoa! Well, hold on. Blah, blah, blah. What the heck, dude? My controller is weird today. Let's see. Move over this way. Uh, whoa, no, up. Well, about right. No, back it up. About right there. So, about maybe lined up right there. Now that we've lined it up, the only thing that you really need to work, there's no like channels or anything I think for this. Let me check. Well, there's a few channels, but it's to, like enable and disable it. But this is the thing that you worry about. So enable on game start. Yes, you can have an icon for it if you want to. If you want to see, it. I have it as none. The icon color can be whatever. Now the text you can put the text as whatever the location name is. For me, it's Sam's Workshop, and you you can choose the text color. We'll say. Um, green. Alright, that tutorial really wasn't hard, but if you did follow along, you should see that now you have a, uh, a loca labeled location on your map. Now we're going to move into the next tutorial on how to use the real-time clock. As you can see here, as I walk into the house, as you can see here by the Christmas tree, there is a countdown and it's a countdown to Christmas and I'm going to show y'all how to do this but before I do I do want to say there is only one time zone for the countdown and it's called GMT and GMT is Greenwich Mean Time that's what it stands for Greenwich Mean Time and that's about let's see um it's about like seven hours ahead of us so that is why this should be I think because today's the sixth I believe is that right I'm sorry I'm sorry yes today's the sixth as I'm recording this so it should be 19 days to Christmas but they're ahead of us so that's why that the you know the thing is different it's all because it's a different time zone but it is still good to use and I like to use it for any countdown too so let's go ahead and hop right on into it 
Alright guys, this tutorial for this is also really simple, which the only thing that you're going to need is the real time clock. And that is right here, and it's located next to the down but not out device and the scoreboard device. So once you have it down, what you want to do is, you want to open up the settings, you can have the clock style as flat like that, or you can have it as default like that. Alright, now you have the time right here. You want to have the time set to whatever date. For me, it's Christmas. So I have it set to the year 2022 because that's the current year. Month 12 because that's December. Days 25. And I have the hour on one. You can you can have the hour off if you want to as well. And duration type it can be. You can have it as whatever. You can have it on days, hours. You can have it as minutes. That's just the duration time. Of that, and then. Yeah, and then what you want to do is, the most important part of this is the display mode. And you want to have that set to countdown. So that way, it counts down the time. If you don't set it to countdown, it'll just say that. It'll just show that. So make sure that you have it set to countdown, so that way it counts down to that date. So hopefully if y'all did do that right, you should be able to walk in here and the countdown should be set to whatever date that you had it set to. Now I really hope y'all did enjoy this video. I was trying to get a video out as soon as I could and I figured I could do these two as because they're really simple and just combine them into one video. So I really hope y'all did enjoy this and maybe did even found these helpful. Please make sure that y'all like and subscribe to the channel so that we don't miss any. And make sure that y'all turn on the notification bell so that we don't miss another video just like this one. And because it really does help me out. And please make sure, again, that y'all use my support, uh, my Fortnite supporter creator code whenever you buy. If you plan on buying any cosmetics from the item shop, or if you plan on getting the new Fortnite Chapter Two, Chapter Two. Oh my God, Chapter Four Battle Pass. I really, like I said, I hope this really, these really helped you out, and I will be looking forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day.